And I would like to give the floor to the Women's Federation for World Peace International. You have the floor. Um, thank you, Madam Chair, and Women's Federation for World Peace for inviting me from the United States as part of their delegation. My name is Patrick Erlinson, and I'm founder and director of FatherCon, which works with fathers, future fathers, and father figures with the purpose of bringing relevant and useful information, motivating inspiration, and access to resources and systems of healing for fathers and families. FatherCon was the result of working on the prevention of human trafficking, which I first learned about while working with USA for UNHCR 13 years ago in Los Angeles. I found fathers intersect with trafficking in three ways, through personal behavior and the influence they have on their daughters and their sons' sense of self-worth and worthiness of being loved. When I questioned survivors about what made them vulnerable to being trafficked, the most common response was having been abused sexually as a child. In over 50% of those cases, the perpetrator was a family member. Divorce and the loss of a father were also prominent reasons. This disruption can provide a vulnerability easily exploited by traffickers and predators. In fact, traffickers have said as much that children without attentive fathers require little grooming. When we look at the consequences of children missing out on the positive impacts of fathers, Three specifically relate to the UN Sustainable Development Goals. Fatherless boys are two times more likely to drop out of school and devalue getting an education. They have more behavioral problems, including violence, and the rate of poverty of boys and girls raised without a father in the home is four times more likely than with two parents. Great effort, funding, and support systems are being implemented and provided for women and girls to offset the problems of fatherless homes, which is important, but to provide children the best environment to value themselves, entertain hope for the future, and strive for integrity, we need to improve the support for men to become responsible husbands and fathers who are aware of how they uniquely impact their children and see fatherhood as intrinsic to their sense of purpose in life with parenting as a standard of success, not just work and material gain as it has been. Also, we need to start making fatherhood something for boys to aspire to. FatherCon holds an annual conference that is attended by a diverse mothers and fathers and provides the three pillars of our work, to inform through workshops and trainings, to inspire and to equip through access to resources so immediate action can be taken in the home. Ongoing activities are held throughout the year to address demographics or issues affecting families, such as the positive impact a father has reading to his children. We hold trainings on cyber safety, human trafficking, foster care, mentoring, and more. UNICEF Chief of Early Childhood Development, Dr. Pia Brito, said, more than just a second parent or an extra set of hands, fathers are one of the best child development resources we have. And if we're going to give children the best start in life, we all need to fully recognize and utilize this role. I encourage both government and civil society to support the strengthening of fathers as crime prevention, provide access to resources needed to keep families intact where possible, and find alternatives to incarceration for fathers. There will be a side event with much more information tomorrow morning at 8. Thank you for the chair. Thank you, distinguished uh, delegate from the Women's Federation for World Peace International for your statement.